Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Kino Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to add finally the eye colors. Uh, you see maybe this tutorial before and I want to uh, make it uh, new uh, just for uh, the eye color because this is um, more flexible and you can make more with uh, this um, eye color block like maybe scale uh, the eye color up or uh, scale the iris um, add three different colors the pupil you have a way more um, flexibility with uh, this uh, block so let's start with our tutorial right now okay let's start with the eye coloring and uh, you see this new template for eye coloring right here and let's open this file and this looks pretty great and I say hello to you all hi and yes it's uh, great so uh, what I want what I want to do is uh, that I uh, use uh, this um, patch or this um, Aya block for an old design I uh, made I think of uh, two or three months ago. Uh, in this tutorial you learn um, how to um, how this filter is uh, made or something like that. I hope uh, you understand me very well. So at first start with uh, the um, file save eye color great and now you can close uh, this one and now I open my old file this one here and um, hello and uh, this file I modified a little bit you can see the old tutorial right here so uh, we include two things from the file or the um, project that I uh, saved. So it's this color block or this block here. That's uh, the color block. And we need uh, eye, the, the eyeballs, right? Okay, the second one is our eye color block and uh, this one is eyelashes uh, well wait eyelashes if you want to know how to add the eyelashes or make your own 3d um, eyelashes pretty simple watch this tutorial right here but now we start with the eyeballs at first and we see here the 3D models or the 3D objects for our eyeballs and um, put it in our scene. And now we start the face tracker because we want to place the eyeballs exactly uh, in the place where our eyes are. So uh, add a face tracker to the scene and a link to it the eyeball great because our eyeballs this is one for right and another one for left left and of course we need this uh, two in our face tracker there are they. You see they had a little bump in the middle. That's uh, I think uh, for later for the reflections of the eyeball um, and the iris and the spectrula. And now we need for our eyeballs position and rotation. One for left and one for right. Wait, I can't see anything. I oh, left. It's the first. <laughs> uh, for the last, left one, last one, left one. And the other one, position for, wait, 
stop, 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 stop. Position right and center position. And I think I need the center position right, of course. Great. And of now the same for uh, the right side. And placed. We start at first with the block. Make it um, before we uh, make it even or better we start with a face uh, with the eye color block sorry and we add the eye color block right here and we need uh, this later for our eyeballs for our um, texture but we have to add this um, this right here we have to link it and you find the eyeball sh shader in our in the patch assets and here oh, here it is eyeball shader i think i used it before here and that's why it uh, comes up at the first uh, at the top of our uh, patch assets so go right here import to our our uh, sorry, it's so weird to speak um, uh, English. I don't know which uh, di dialect or, or whatever. I'm, I know I, I uh, sound German, but uh, I, I have a feeling it's, it sounds weird, whatever. And you see, the great thing is uh, this complicated, wonderful patch. <laughs> as um, way more or way easier when you look at just uh, this and you just have to link all these things right here iris fold so iris fold and 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 wonderful great 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 don't want to say great it's, oh, it's weird okay and now you see the texture we need a texture and there is our eyeball matte texture base color texture is that right we will see yeah hello I look like Kermit the frog <laughs> right now but Yay, it's wor it's working. Now we ne need to uh, blend uh, this um, eyeballs uh, into our face. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but we need um, at first we need for our blending, but we need another mesh at first. And this mesh we call a cluder mesh and I think right over here hello and add a material a create a new material <laughs> it's so <laughs> I have fun okay a cluder this is so mad we need and now let's make stuff funky I think and voila I don't know why this eye is so funky it's wiggling the wiggling eye um i have not the best light maybe that's a big problem for uh, this uh, tutorial so when uh or the um eye tracker in this case has uh not a nice uh, fixed point for his uh, tracking and so uh when the light is too too dark or something like that uh my eyes starts to wiggle okay so oculus and we want to play 
the the height a little bit deeper so in, in the y uh, y axis a little bit deeper so our value and we need three values for that um great and why not here start and just a tiny bit two tiny bits vielleicht two too tiny yes my god this disappearing that's a great sign that's too high minus now it's looking a little bit better and okay and because you see or maybe noticed that uh, the makeup is gone same for that and I think for this tutorial that's pretty good so let's start with the this is our sorry this is our eye color this is our um, eyelashes you see right here <gasps> okay eye colors uh, color first one second it's more like um yeah it's so great and it's looking nice and you can play with the opacity sorry i have to this is uh, the pupil opacity, iris opacity. So, and with the scalar, scalar, it's uh, the eyeballs, I think. Yes, the eyeballs. And there's a light slightly a yellow or actual tone in the the car in the color so it's a uh, looks uh, more realistic and you can play with the scale of uh, the pupils of course oh no and so scary <laughs> hmm. look a little bit cuter or oh let's let's stay here pupil maybe Great. this looks nice so go to a the eyeballs right here eyeball mat and uh, you see there is uh, this material right here and I will uh, look at my reference and in my reference is uh, not physically based since so in standard Hello. and you see um, that's why it's a little bit different at diffuse sorry I ha have to change that and go to specular and smooth it so you see this wonderful lights above. Um, but what you can also do is maybe go back. To, oh no, not really. Go back to your blog, and now it's a little bit easier for you to now need because it's a little bit too dark. You can add. I have to. Uh, Okay, you add um, ambient light to your scene. Ambient, right? Ambient, ambient, ambient. Ambient light, it's with an A. And add uh, this ambient to your face tracker. 
now it's all it's glow up but you can s solve this problem if your occluder layer and main layer so add the occluder to the main layer and with this one too thank you so much for watching i hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this little tutorial and Ding. when you like uh, my tutorials please subscribe my new my channel Kino design and add the uh, notification bell as well uh, and when you have questions or ideas for um, upcoming tutorials uh, send me a comment or send me a, a message via in instagram at Kino design and i hope you stay healthy and enjoy the process bye